So I got the cleaning bug a little bit, but you know, sometimes that needs to happen. And I've been putting off a lot of the cleaning up here and actually making it a home up here. Basically, this is our like family room, bonus room, that kind of a thing. And I just, I haven't done anything to it at all since we moved in. It'll be about a year and a half. So, first thing i took the first step and i bought a floor lamp basically this place has like can lighting and so it's so bright when you want to like relax in the evening time so i got this wonderful floor lamp and it's just super basic got it from target but now i have to like organize and do all this stuff i've allowed my son to display all his big lego pieces here and i think it's kind of cool like you know all of these amazing pieces that he spent time putting together i think for the family room it works really well so we'll have more larger lego stuff to add to the collection I took everything down that was on these shelves, so we had a lot of sports memorabilia and pictures and stuff like that. So I'm going to need to find a place for that. morning it is a hot one today I was supposed to go to the gym but someone over here uh, had like crazy stomach grumbles this morning and I looked outside when he went out and he was eating grass and I was like oh no this could be horrible so I just decided to stay home and take him for a walk so we just got back I have a couple things planned today, not crazy stuff, but I have my annual physical. And this is a reminder for all of you guys out there who always forget to schedule your physical. Make sure you schedule your physical, it's super important. Today I'm gonna go in, I had blood work done last week and we're gonna go over the blood work and see what is good and maybe what needs some tweaking. I've had tons of inflammation and like soreness. Um, I pulled ligaments in my back and in my neck. And so I'm kind of a hot wreck right now, but I'm looking forward to seeing like all my blood work and where it lands and how am I doing and all that good stuff. And then after that, I'm planning on going to the Banana Republic factory outlet in Concord because we are going to Norway. We're going to Norway in June. We're going for 10 days. We're bringing the entire family. And I just want to pick up some pieces, maybe a few pieces, just to kind of add to my wardrobe. I am planning on packing just a carry-on. So I don't want to bring a whole bunch of clothes. I just want to make sure that I have enough combinations to work for all the different types of events. And Norway is, is 
like temperate. So it's rainy, it's not super hot, it can get cold during the summertime. So I need to make sure that I have enough appropriate clothes. So definitely I will bring you along for that. And then I am going to pack because we are leaving tomorrow to go to uh, DC for Mother's Day for the weekend. The boys are coming too. We are going to go see a Mets and Nationals game. And so that should be really fun. It's just a quick little trip and right back. But definitely something I will make sure that I vlog. It is Friday and it's been quite the morning. Basically, I had a really rough night last night. My back, my lower back was aching and like sharp pains. And then it was like moving around my left side into my stomach and just like a whole bunch of sharp pains. So I woke up this morning really early, went to urgent care and it was the absolute worst urgent care ever. Do not go to this urgent care. And if you're in this area and you want to know what urgent care not to go to, message me and I'll let you know. But anyway, I went to the urgent care. I got there at like 7.30, waited till 8 when they opened. And then basically a nurse told me, without even touching me, was just like, yeah, we can give you some pain meds and we'll see how we'll, how that how that goes and I'm like yeah that's not gonna happen so I went to the emergency room and they did such a good job number one there was no wait I went right in and the nurse the charging nurse he was amazing he was so sweet and so kind and then the vitals nurse came in and she was amazing. And then my real nurse came in, my RN, who was taking care of me, Megan. She was fantastic. The doctor was great. Everybody was wonderful. So I cannot suggest Huntersville Atrium Health Emergency Department anymore. They were like 10 out of 10. Amazing. But... They gave me a CT scan, they took some urine and took some blood and they thought maybe I had kidney stones and that came back negative. So they think it's something muscular or maybe the like beginning signs of shingles. They say in adults, they can have like severe back pains, uh, pain that like mimics kidney stones, but like later on down the road, you will develop the rash and the blisters and all that. So. I just have to be aware that if anything pops up, I get, go to my primary care and they will give me the antiviral and then I should be good. But 
Guys, this pain is like on a scale from zero to 10. It is a full eight and a half. It is unreal. So those of you who suffer with back pain, like I sympathize with you. I get it. I get it. It is unreal. But I will check back with you a little later. I'm going to go take a shower and try to relax a little bit and we'll see what happens.